Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss properties of binomial coefficients. Now, the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to nc0 plus nc1 into x plus nc2 into x square plus so on up to ncr into x raised to power r plus so on up to plus nc n minus 1 into x raised to power n minus 1 plus nc n into x raised to power n. There n is a positive integer. Here nc0, nc1, nc2, ncr and so on up to ncn are called the binomial coefficients. And when n is known, that is, the index of the binomial is known, then we can write these binomial coefficients as c0, c1, and so on up to cn. So we can denote these binomial coefficients as c0, c1, and so on up to cn. Now let us discuss the properties of these binomial coefficients. And the first property is the coefficients of the terms equidistant from the beginning and the end are equal. That is, the terms which are equidistant from the beginning and the end have equal coefficients. Now let us prove this property. Now in the expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n which is equal to nc0 plus nc1 into x plus nc2 into x square plus so on up to ncr into x raised to power r plus so on up to nc n minus 1 into x raised to power n minus 1 plus nc n into x raised to power n. Now the total terms in the above expansion is n plus 1. So the above expansion has n plus 1 terms. Now the coefficient of r plus 1th term from the beginning is so the coefficient of r plus 1th term from the beginning is m c r now r plus 1th term from the end has n plus 1 minus that is n plus 1 the whole minus r plus 1 the whole or you can say n minus r terms before it. So R plus 1 is term from the end has 
n minus r terms before it. Therefore, r plus one -th term from the end is n minus r plus one -th term from the beginning. Now the coefficient of r plus 1th term from the beginning is ncr. So the coefficient of n minus r plus 1th term from the beginning will be nc n minus r. Now this is the coefficient of r plus 1th term from the beginning and this is the coefficient of r plus 1th term from the end. So as ncr is equal to nc n minus r because ncr is equal to n factorial over r factorial into n minus r the whole factorial. So the values of ncr and nc n minus r are same. That means ncr is equal to nc n minus r. Therefore, the coefficients of the r plus 1th terms from the beginning and the end are equal. Now the second property of binomial coefficients is the sum of the binomial coefficients is equal to 2 raised to power n. Now we have the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to nc0 plus nc1 into x plus nc2 into x square plus so on up to ncn into x raised to power n. Now putting x is equal to 1 we get 1 plus 1 that is 2. So 2 raised to power n is equal to nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 plus so on up to ncn. Or we can write it as c0 plus c1 plus c2 plus so on up to cn. That is when n is known to us is equal to 2 raised to power n. Therefore we can say that the sum of the binomial coefficients is equal to 2 raised to power n. Now as we know that c0 is equal to 1, therefore in this equation what is c0 is equal to 1? It will be 2 raised to power n is equal to 1 plus c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus so on up to cn which further implies c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus so on up to cn is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now let us discuss the next property which is in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n the sum of the coefficients of all terms is equal to the sum of the coefficients of the even terms.
Now let us start with its proof. Now we have the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to nc0 plus nc1 into x plus nc2 into x square plus so on up to ncn into x raised to power n. Now putting x is equal to 1 in this expansion, we get 1 plus 1, that is 2 raised to power n is equal to nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 plus so on up to ncn. Now let this be equation number 1. Similarly, putting x is equal to minus 1 in the given expansion, we get 0 is equal to nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 plus so on up to minus 1 whole raised to power n into ncn. Now let this be equation number 2. Now adding 1 and 2, we get 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 into nc0 plus nc2 plus nc4 plus so on. Or it can be written as 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 into c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus so on the whole. Now subtracting 2 from 1, we get 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 into nc1 plus nc3 plus nc5 plus so on the whole. Or you can write it as 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 into c1 plus c3 plus c5 plus so on the whole. Therefore, from these two equations, we have two raised to power n is equal to two into c naught plus c two plus c four plus so on the whole is equal to two into c one plus c three plus c five plus so on the whole. And this implies 2 raised to power n over 2 is equal to c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus so on is equal to c1 plus c3 plus c5 plus so on. Which further implies 2 raised to power n minus 1 is equal to c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus so on is equal to c1 plus c3 plus c5 plus so on. Hence we can say that in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n, the sum of the coefficients of the odd terms is equal to the sum of the coefficients of the even terms, which is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1. Therefore, we can write that the sum of the coefficients of odd terms is equal to 2 raised to power n by 2, which is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1. And sum of the coefficients of even terms is also 2 raised to power n by 2, which is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now let us discuss the next property, which is summation minus 1 whole raised to power r into ncr where r varies from 0 to n is equal to 0. That is c0 minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 plus c4 minus c5 plus so on up to minus 1 whole raised to power n into cn is equal to 0. Now we know the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n 
which is equal to C naught plus C one X plus C two X square plus C three X cube plus so on up to C L into X raised to power N. Now for X is equal to minus one this expansion will be equal to now 1 plus x whole raised to power n will be 0 which is equal to c naught minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 plus so on up to minus 1 whole raised to power n into cn. Therefore we have summation minus 1 whole raised to power r into NCR where R varies from 0 to N is equal to 0. Now let us discuss the next property which is NCR is equal to N over R the whole into N minus 1 C R minus 1 which is equal to N over R the whole into N minus 1 over R minus 1 the whole into N minus 2 C R minus 2. Now, N C R is equal to N factorial over R factorial into n minus r the whole factorial which is equal to now n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 the whole factorial over r factorial is equal to r into r minus 1 the whole factorial and n minus r can be written as n minus 1 the whole minus r minus 1 the whole and this complete whole factorial which is further equal to n over r the whole into n minus 1 factorial that is n minus 1 whole factorial over r minus 1 whole factorial into n minus 1 the whole minus r minus 1 the whole this complete whole factorial now this is equal to n over r the whole into now this complete expression will be equal to n minus 1 c r minus 1 so n c r is equal to n over r the whole into n minus 1 C R minus 1. Similarly, N minus 1, C R minus 1 is equal to N minus 1 whole upon R minus 1 the whole into N minus 2, C R minus 2. Now putting the value of N minus 1, C R minus 1, here N C R will be equal to N over R the whole into N minus 1 whole upon R minus 1 the whole into N minus 2 C R minus 2. So we have proved this property. So in this session we have learnt about properties of binomial coefficients. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.